One. Looks like a 45 automatic with close range. It's cocaine. Oh, yeah, it's definitely an organized crime hit. I mean, nobody else is going to leave that much powder behind. Somebody's making a statement. Try sleeping at night like everybody else does. Who the f says when you're supposed to sleep? Set, go! Damn, dude is fast, man. Look, like I'm not gonna spend all day watching a bunch of. All right, guys. Subject approaching from the west. Got him. Me like that, dog. Oh, Take them down. Take the guys in the park. Let's do the race. Big one's mine. On the ground. You heard up. Put your hands behind your head.
let him go. Right, calm down, bro. I got a gun, Coffee. You know, caught him when he was in his pants. Yeah, he's got his pinky. What the f does that have to do anything, Andre? Marino, who were you yesterday, huh? Rambo, Dirty Harry, Popeye Doyle? You were there, Rhodes. Which one was it? Jack, let it go, man. It's a bad call, old man. Just a matter of time before his own people get to him. Save the taxpayers some money. Look, I'm a hunter, not a fisherman. This catch and release has got to go. You guys want to keep... What do we got? Well, the initial lab reports say this Milo's been peddling is the best we've seen in years. It's completely uncut. Milo also gave us a loop without a last name. Apparently, this guy's a bartender at some club up in Hollywood. It's called the Attitude. Cat named Eric Carter is half on it. Carter also played middle linebacker for the 49ers before he blew out his knee. He was born in Compton in 1967. Got a couple of priors as a teenager, you know, petty theft and marijuana, but nothing since. I lives on Sunset Plaza in Los Angeles. He was divorced twice with two grown kids. And DMV shows he drives an 09 black Mercedes. Damn, DP, you even got his mating habits down. That's what I do. I like that. So we got Milo getting coke from a guy named Luke with no last name. Let's talk to Luke. Like Gino said, best battle we've seen in years. And the old man made the right call. Imagine that. Home. Are you doing, man? Good to see you, man. Hey, slow down. Where are you going? Come back. You guys doing? Have a nice day. Good job, man. Hey, man, I told you I ain't got you. What's going on? Clean, dude. Oh, you're clean now. You guys clean. You guys can't be doing this kind of shit. Enrique Martinez, huh? You got some ID? No, no ID. They never have ID, huh? Hey, don't f with me. I. Man, take everything so serious. Start talking. Carlos, it's none of your business. iPod? Is this looking iPod? No. So when I get it, y'all be the first to know. Alright? Alright. Cool. Alright, man. And you guys have a good day, day, man. Thank you, man. Good to see you. Crooked ass cop. You heard about Milo? No. No, you don't know a Milo, huh, guys? Put your hands in the pocket. Where do you get your stuff? <laughs> Says you have a hookup around here. I don't know anybody named Milo. Look, guys, you know, I'm a little busy right now, so uh... I think you gotta stick around, man. You must know he described you to a T. Really? Like I said, guys, I'm working. His name's Roxy. Blood drained out of his when I mentioned that Milo piece of Said he didn't know him. I say we let him sweat it out and pay him another visit in a couple of days. That's Eric Carter. He owns the club. You make the big spender? I've seen him in here before. The little sexy mama beside him, that's his sister. The dude with the chick in his lap, that's the younger brother. Both of them live in the high life.
William and Manito. <laughs> William, are you saving any of those young ladies for me? I don't know, man. I may have worn them out. <laughs> Bienvenidos de la actitud. Come on, Elmer. Then, who is your friend? This is Jade. Jade? Yeah, she has a lot of important friends for you to meet, so we have some business to take care of. Entrando por el fino. Didn't I tell you? Yep. You told me. Are we done here, gentlemen? Well, I got a deck full of ladies, and I'm ready to pop some pinatas. Si, senor. Ladies, come on down here and say hi to my friends. Local resident that found baby up to 209. Got Bukowski and Yaganelli were just with him. Hey, how you doing? Nice to see you again. Frankie. Hey, Frankie. It's yeah. nasty. This is my last stiff. I'm putting in my papers. <laughs> Let's take a look. Let's throw it with slip from ear to ear. And he has a 45 round in his forehead. That's Luke Roxy, all right. He had a wallet in his back pocket, credit cards, a couple hundred bucks, and a driver's license. This is no robbery. Well, you guys found the body? You know what to do. We'll handle it. What time it is? Yeah, we know what time it is. Can we come in? Does it look like I'm cooking for the comments? Why don't you tell us about Luke Roxy? Who? You got a bartender at the Attitude. Why are you asking about Luke? How long he worked for you, man? I don't know. Two years? Mm. Two years? It's a long time. He must have been a good employee. Yeah, he was. Was? Was, is, same shit. You know you boys pushing powder around town, right? Nah, I wasn't aware. Oh, uh, you don't know anything about that, huh? I see, I'm just a simple businessman. Yeah, I used to watch you play, man. The baddest running back in the league. You want a autograph? Yeah, that's funny. So why don't you tell us where your boy's getting your from, smart ass? Who? Luke, who do you think? How the hell would I know that? You know, he's dead, right? Who's dead? Your employee, Luke. Damn, I know he didn't come to work a couple nights. Exactly, so tell me where your boy's getting his powder from. If I know. That's odd, he said he got it from you, man. I think he's a liar. Mind if I take a look around in here? Hell, yes, I'm honest, hey, my man. Hey, shut the f out, boy. Tell me about the Vega family.
looking at? You are in my seat. Death? Diego, give me a moment with this drink. Diego? Would you like a drink? No, I'm fine. How about you? Another? No, that'd be nice. Right about now, I guess you're uh, wondering, is this guy a cop? I already know you're a cop. The question is, do you know why? Well, let's say that uh, I'm gonna find out everything I need to know. Is that what we're gonna do? Play this game? You know, it's interesting, I, um, I read a disturbing story the other day about the, uh, that chief of police down in Florida, the one that was murdered. I imagine it's not unusual for men in your line of work to meet that type of fate, but the way they dismembered him and then had the head sent to his wife, the message that that sends, it's, uh, very profound. Phillips? I just thought it was uh, an interesting message. So, what sort of message are you trying to send me? If it's precious, my friend. One slip is all it's gonna take. One slip. Necesite, Antonio. Ahora, si me mira, lo mato. No lo toques. Persíguelo. conversation we're about to have never happened. Do they ever? We do not involve ourselves with these people. They're on another level. We're on another level. What are you saying? They're protected? Division 123 was grouped outside the force, Mike, so you could bend the rules. Exactly. But you don't bend the rules, Mike. You break them. And we don't exist, remember? I've worked damn hard to earn the title of commander. And I won't put that on the line for anybody, Mike, including you. Does this ring of protection extend down into the department? I think I'm gonna let that one slide. What are you saying? What I'm saying is I can turn a blind eye, but I can only turn so far. Have you thought for one moment that if this thing goes awry, you take down seven good cops with you? We don't want to be exposed like that, Mike. Right?
padre trajo a la policía en nuestra casa. ¿Cómo eso es posible? Yo me preguntaba lo mismo. ¿Lo mismo? ¿Y cómo tú propones arreglar esta situación? Do you have to ask? He has brought us a lot of money, Catalina. He sold drugs to our employees. And we have to take care of business. Hey, you mato mono ese. Brother, let me take care of it. Do you love me? Do oh, I love you madly? You know I do. I'll do anything for you. Anything? Anything. You got that side, you got this side. You put yourself in my shoe. Vegas are dirty, they're arrogant, they're involved. How do you know that? This broad and her brothers, they have more money than Donald Trump. And you think Carter's involved? A strong hunch. I have a strong hunch my wife is a pool guy. But I can't do with that either. I got an ex-football player hooked up with a queen bee. I call it a strong hunch. You buy into this? Informants are running scared, nobody's talking. What do you want? A search warrant. Since when do you need a search warrant? Just buy a disposable cell phone, punch an appropriate number, presto, you have your search warrant. Wow, did I say that? You've done this before. Not that I ever told you about. To an everlasting life together? It takes one heart to keep you alive. Two hearts to keep you living. I love you, too, from the bottom of mine. Cheers. Thanks, Lenny. Thanks for coming up, Cassie. No problem. So before you, there was this young cop named Erico Johansson who joined the division. Smart cop. He's worked for us for more than five years. We decided to infiltrate her on this big case we're working on. She spent several months getting this guy to trust her. She even told me that she got him to fall in love with her. Then one day we get a phone call. We found her hanging from a flagpole in front of the school. If you're thinking about bringing me in, I'll do it. I don't know you can handle it. I got nothing else. They say that if you wake up early enough, you can see the dolphins swimming down the coast. Really? Really? Do you like dolphins?
doing? Fine, thank you. Captain Mike Marino. Ari Sofer. Lieutenant Wilson. Sure, nice to meet you too. Catalina Vega. She in? We're here to speak to you a little bit more about your relationship with Eric Carter. That's over. I don't deal with people who sell drugs to my employees. So you talked with him about it? I didn't have to. I don't need anybody in my life having anything to do with illegal activities. So I dumped him. That's a pretty cool bag right there. Something like that, Ron. Ten grand. Not everything's negotiable. What is it with you people? Everything's negotiable. If we're through here, gentlemen, I need to get back to work. If you need information, why don't you ask Eric? I got a better idea. Why don't you tell us where he is? you captain or do I call you Mike? Mike's fine. Well, it's nice to meet you, Mike. Uh, body was positively ID'd as Eric Carter and fishermen caught him in their net. So where's the rest of it? He spent a lot of time in the water. We're lucky we have this much. You can't be serious. I didn't have dinner. Uh, just don't get that on my table. Okay, okay. What's the cause of death? A uh, single round from a 357 Magnum fired at close range, entered the occipital lobe and exited the temporal lobe here. Bit of an overkill. Five. Look, Jeannie was your wife, but she was also my sister. And she was killed, and you got the guy that did it. I'm not trying to tell you how to live your life. Maybe we just gotta move on. been out there for hours. Did you think it would be wise to send a message to Mr. Marino?
Hello. When? Okay. It's bad, Mike. Seems like every time we ring a doorbell, someone dies. Well, sorry about your colleague. These folks you're messing with, they don't play games. No. Nobody's talking. Look, we need some information. Well, it's all at war with these drug cartels. There are dead bodies all over the streets. Estimated that 50% of the cops are on the take. What we're saying is we have enough on our plate without messing with your... Please. I'll get you that diet soda. And you look like you could use a Bloody Mary. Yeah, thank you. You alone? No, oh, it wouldn't I be. I feel safe here. This is a cop hangout, isn't it? You do your homework, don't you? Horses. That cop had a name. He had a wife. Who's protecting you? I don't know what you mean. You got balls coming in here. What do you want, Michael? I want to rid the planet of scum like you. You're an idealist. Michael Joseph Marino. I know everything about you. I also know that you're a very angry man. But today's world is not the same world that you once knew. Deals could be made. I could give you everything that you could ever want. As long as it takes, Miss Vega, Catalina. I'm going to take you down. I'm going to take your brothers down. And I don't care how long it takes me until they put me six feet under. You should be very careful for what you wish for. This is for you. It's a gift. I know you liked it. Maybe you could find some good use for it. <laughs> Get the f out of here. waiting for you in the conference room. It's across the hall. Thank you.
take a seat, Mike. I think you know why you're here. I'm sure you won't tell me why. You seem to have a problem developing. You're blaming me? Should I? You know, we're not trying to get in your way. Then don't. Look, I know that none of us are supposed to know what you and your division are doing. How many dead bodies have to keep turning up before we're allowed to do our job? So would you rather have a few criminals killing each other or thousands of kids hooked on drugs, murdering liquor store owners for a fix? And the dead cop. Was it worth it? Otto, how are you doing here? We invited him. Just doing my job, Mike. What job's that? <clears throat> Hits are all done with large caliber handguns. All the shell casings of the crime scenes match the gun that was used. So now you're on their side. Oh, come on, this is not about sides. It's about us doing our job the way we're supposed to. I think we're done here. Hate to be in your shoes, Logan.
Do you mind? Not a problem. No, I'm fine. Yes, mother. Are you crazy? Don't wait up for me. I might be late tonight. This is some Cassie. You know it. I love you. My sister, Catalina. Catalina, let me introduce you to this beautiful young lady, Miss Gina Hansen. So very nice to meet you, Gina. <laughs> My brother's not exaggerating. You are very beautiful. And so are you, Catalina. You have an amazing home. Must be nice to live in something like this. Thank you. I really enjoy it. Very nice to meet you, Gina. My brother has excellent taste. My sister likes you. Mm. And so do I. Very much. I don't know how you and Jeannie did it all those years, Mike. She was my best friend. Yeah. Look, the guys upstairs are getting anxious. Don't shoot the messenger, Mike. It's about disrupt, dismantle. Isn't that what you've always said? A lot of dead bodies, Mike, including one of our own. I've got a cop on the inside. Her life's at risk. I'm not walking away from this. I've been meaning to talk to you about that. 
I mean, how is Cassidy? Can she do this? Look, she lost her little brother to a drug overdose. She'll do what it takes. Sounds like someone else I know. You're not walking away. Did I say that? Hey, Logan. Anything else you want to tell me? Just get it done, Mike. Yeah. Robert Loveless? Yo! Antonio Vega. Yeah. October 2007, he bought a New York special. Yeah. I finally delivered it to him and got his money. And he wanted to order a couple more, and I told him, no, I wouldn't take any more orders. <laughs> like Pac-Man Jones till he got his nose busted open. You guys take boy Rogers, I'm gonna stay with Cash. Yeah, DJ. Hey, we telling this redneck hick we saw kicking it at the table with Vega. Looked like this fool headed to Burbank Airport, but yo dude was dropping a lot of cash at the club. Cassidy was up in there too, swapping spit with strippers and, and out of nowhere, pretty boy just knuckles a hick like De La Hoya in the fifth. Must have been talking about Cassidy's tight or something, but yo, I walk outside, I see the same two cats chilling, kicking it like they positive. Andre stayed with Cassidy? Man, now you know Andre stayed with Cassidy. She ain't going nowhere without him breathing up her. Well, if your hick gets on a flight, you get your asses on the same flight and don't let him out of your sight. All right. Oh, Antonio. I don't know what you enjoy more. I think we could have some privacy. You can have what you like. You always have. Is that right?
Fuck. We love violence. These mediocre teeth. Enjoy it while it lasts. And nobody is leaving Until one of us stops swinging Or somebody's not breathing Fight just like a couple wild lines in the jungle So let's get ready to rumble Fight for one reason And nobody is leaving Until one of us stops swinging Or somebody's not breathing Fight just like a couple wild lines in the jungle So let's get ready to and nobody is leaving. Somebody named Lou wants to know. I'm Cowboy. Uh, I told maybe you were uh, might be able to hook me up with like a, a mannequin like thing. Uh, I'll give you 50 bucks for this. 50 bucks? You crazy Come on, wait. Hey, all right. I'll give you 75 bucks for the little. No. Go f I'll give you 100 bucks. That's as far as I can go. So I thought you guys might want to know what one of my girls overheard last night. Lawyers? All chastity. Dancing for a couple of guys. A couple of heavies all jacked up. Big dudes. She says they start bragging, talking about whacking cops and Did she say which ones? Why don't you ask her? She's the one in the middle, doing what she ain't supposed to be doing. You wouldn't happen to have any tape we might want to look at, would you? Well, I thought you might ask that. I'll check this out. Right about now. Mind if I have a few words with Miss Chastity? Be my guest. So the cowboy's got a name. It's Randy Price. He's from Memphis. They call him the Hick. He was picked up once on suspicion of armed robbery. He was trying to hold up a couple of drug dealers, but they let him go because he led him to some drug deals they were trying to take down for months. So what is the good mayor Alvarez doing in the photo with Catalina Vega? Well, he's got good taste. His wife left him because he was a 29-year-old stripper. Now we know he was Catalina Vega. So then I'm wondering what the good mayor Alvarez is doing hanging with the Vega family. What about these two gentlemen that were bragging about killing cops? Been on the Vega payroll for years. Antonio calls them his security people. So that's what you call them now? Security people? Because you're, like, in with the family? They're f***ing scumbag, just like your boyfriend, Antonio. Yeah. Why don't you do your job and let me do mine? I am doing my job. I'm not getting caught up like some people. Is there a problem, Andre? Is there a problem? There's no problem, sir. We have a good game plan here, and I don't need it to be f***ed up at the 12th hour. I need everyone to be focused. All right, check out Tennessee. See what the hell he's doing in Manhattan. Andre. I'm hanging tight in my office for a minute. So I got too much respect for you to beat around the bush. You never have. I don't know what's going on between the two of you, but quite frankly, I don't give a f I'm not going to jeopardize you. I'm not going to jeopardize her. I'm not going to jeopardize this case. So I'm going to ask you one time, man. Can you handle this? I can handle it. I think you should be asking her that. It's my business. OK. I'm good. Good. Talk to me. I slept with Vega. I know. How do you know? It's my job. You're okay with that? 
I know you know what I say, Cassidy. The rules and those who wrote them. I heard Antonio talking to Diego and Catalina like Iaconelli was a trophy kill. He said he squealed like a pig when he cut off his nipple. And he laughed. And he said he wanted to keep it as a souvenir. I'm gonna pull you up. You did good. I'm here to see Mr. Vega. Do you have an appointment? Don't need one. May I pull you gentlemen something special? You know the drill. We're on duty. We can't do that. I'll have what you have. Please, make yourself at home. To what do I owe this visit, huh? We're just here to invite you to play 18 holes of golf with us on Sunday. You available? I'm sorry, gentlemen, I don't play golf. Neither do I. I see. Catalina Island. What is it, Gene? 26 miles across the sea? Santa Catalina is waiting for me, the island of romance. Romance. You like to fish? What? Neither do I. Wonder if uh, Eric Carter liked to fish. Name Steve Yacinelli, ring a bell. He's a cop that worked for us. Dead, missing part of his anatomy. He wouldn't know anything about that. Yeah, I didn't think so. Hey, Gino, you think Steve liked to fish? You see, I get seasick. It's the inner ear thing. Couldn't stand riding those teacups when I was a kid. Same thing with the merry-go-rounds. I think I like fishing, Gene. If I didn't get so sick, I hate puking. I love catching Enough with this gentleman. I pour you a shot of $800 tequila, and you want to come in here with me? Are you that crazy? What do you want? It's a piece of just call me crazy. You call me crazy? Things going with, uh, with Pam. She never shut up about that. You want to talk about women? Let's talk about Soleil. You ever hit that? No. Put your hands where, I can, your hands where I can see them. Making a big mistake, pal. Move it. Drive. Get back.
start the car. Start the car. You like to fish? What? Neither do I. Start. <laughs> Deserves to die. Dead already. What's the damage, Shira? What's the damage? Wilson's good. His wife just came and took him home. And Marino actually doesn't look too bad considering he just had the crap kicked out of him. Is he conscious? He's conscious. Like always, he's not saying. How about Wilson? He gave the name of the deceased as Flagman. And that's it? Nope. We got a hell of a mess at the crime scene, and the press is already breathing down our backs. Keep this air tight. You're a lucky boy. Everything looks good. No broken ribs, the facial lacerations and contusions are no big deal. The nurse will help you finish your paperwork, and you'll be good to go. Thank you. Stops now. I'll be right outside. I'm not going to let you end up on an autopsy table, Mike. I can have Antonio V get picked up right now for suspicion of murder and end this. I want them all. Big Nick. Look like. Can you cut me some slack here, one? Can't do it, Nick. It's business. How many times have I saved your life? Catalina says you gotta go. You look half dead anyways. Night, right, Nikki. Man, you said three o'clock. I told you guys I'd call. Yeah. What? Are you serious, bro? Man, I told you I'd call you when I got something. You gonna make me wait here like this? Take a high skip, Mark. Yo, man, you better not be wasting our time. Yo, what the f is this old man saying part of our deal, bro? You know that. Oscar, cut the sh Tell us what we want to hear. Well, like I told you on the phone, you show me what you got, and I'll give you what I got. Simple as that, man. Uh, and give us some cash, DJ. Well, I got <clears throat> Yeah. Bam. Man, that's f***ed up. I gave you my word, and you show me Andrew Jackson? No. Man, what kind of is that? I know you heard of Benjamin Franklin. 
Oh, well, he ain't worth that kind of cash. Man, you see, this man knows how to show an appreciation for what I do. The word is that this is gonna hit the streets next week. Does this encyclopedia of information in your f***ed up head tell us where the is coming from? Man, I don't know. You know how that goes. Don't know, man. Something about some, some foundry in Southgate or something. You know, that Hey, man, you legit. You're a good man. You, you got to teach your boy some manners. You're a good cop. He's my, my favorite cop, man. I already got jet lag. You about to give me a headache. Is that a Gucci jacket? That's a nice jacket, man. You suave, man. Hi, Mike. Hi, Dad. Come on in. Thank you. Mike's here to see you. Have a seat, Mike. Want a drink? No, I'm fine. House things. Let's get to the point, Mike. Sum it up for me. And we got an informant. He says a whole lot of shit gonna hit the streets next week, and he even coughed up our location, Foundry and Southgate. What about the wiretaps? Worthless. They're too smart for that. Is your informant reliable? I believe him. Good. I got a gift for you. The DEA called. They intercepted a phone call between Antonio Vega and Mr. Juan Corona at Tijuana. And they just so happened to mention their travel plans to Southgate. Let me guess. 50. Mm-hmm. How are they transporting? Don't know. They're working on it. Do whatever you have to do.
the gun down. Kick it away. Done this before. It appears to be your fate, Marino. Oh, I wish you would. May I do that? I haven't decided yet. Yeah, before you do, I've got a surprise for you.
got a poem for you. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to have an attorney present now and during any future questions. Does my brother know about you? Your brother doesn't know anymore. What's that supposed to mean? It means right about now he's in the morgue prison. his ass off. Neil? Get her the out of here. In other late breaking news, which may or may not be connected to the news out of the mayor's office this morning, two members of an influential family, Antonio and Diego Vega, were found killed in an L.A. department shootout. Let's get the hell out of here. Awesome. Man. Special commendations to the LAPD. We do all the work and they get all the credit. That's I don't give a damn about that. I got to spend my time off in therapy. Everybody else around here walking fine. I got a limp. It's all good, though, because that's, that's what I get for letting that white boy put a hole in my leg. up to you, man. Five volt. Oh. Where you going, little man? I'm the one to get it started, taking blame for years. 